What's up guys, Creighton here from LogicLounge.com here with a first look into Microsoft's Windows 10 technical preview. This technical preview is meant only to show you the new features that are coming to the Windows operating system. This does not mean that you should use it as a primary operating system. This also does not mean that you should use this as any sort of primary operating system. This is purely for the preview of what we can see with the next version. And it's kind of weird to talk about versions for a second, but they're calling this Windows 10 kind of odd if you think about it. Uh, we have nine, which should be the logical next number since they started from Windows 7, then went to eight, 8.1. It seems like nine should be in there somewhere, but we've seen to have skipped nine and gone straight to 10. And that coincides with another operating system that happens to use 10 as its main OS number, but uses the Roman numeral of that and I won't give away any hints for anything but I'll just leave it at that but let's move on and take a look inside the technical preview because this is what we want to see and what we could even see with the next version so this is their beginning website or, or what we can be introduced to with Windows 10 we have a nice introduction video by this wannabe Justin Bieber guy I'm sorry, that hairdo, it's just, it's just wanna be Justin Bieber. It's just, it's just me or anybody else. I'm pretty sure it's everybody else. Anyways, so this is just their, uh, what launches at the start so that you can get started, uh, see what's new. And I'm just gonna jump straight in to what we've all wanted to see is the start menu. We've all wanted to see that because it's been a thing that we've wanted a start menu now. We wanted a dedicated start menu. One of the worst things about Windows 8, what I didn't like it, was that it had no start menu. It had this modern theme to it that you had to search through and pick out applications. And if one application used a desktop, you're thrown into the desktop application. Yeah, the desktop took a kind of a back seat basically to everything, even though it was being used more than anything else. So I'm happy that we now have a dedicated desktop with a dedicated start menu that has kind of a classic theme to it with the start menu. It's what we've all known Windows to have, and in my opinion, it's probably one of the best things that Windows has. So moving on, we can see that it has our charms. We still have our charms here, which open up in application menus, not a full screen like you were used to with Windows 8 and 8.1. So they're all windowed now, which is great because Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 never really catered to those with multiple screens. I do have multiple screens. I got three screens and having something like that over three screens just wasn't a thing. It just wasn't useful. So this now can take better advantage of that and can allow us to have our desktop. And if we need a special application from the Windows Store, we can use it in a windowed mode which I find fantastic. Uh, so we have the news application, which of course you can find all the breaking news, the stories and stuff like that, which is great. I and mean, you have all these applications. I don't want to get too far into them because we've already been through them in other videos. They may got minor changes to them, but nothing major. It's all about the start menu. So you have those charms there, like I can talk about. You can edit them, you can drag them around, put them wherever you want, uh, and you can create a pretty much an infinite amount of charms here. I mean, you can expand out further and further, make them double wide, uh, put them in icons by themselves. You have the abilities to do that. So we can make, you know, that one wide. We can make uh, this one small. So we can have a wider range of usability and features in here. You go like that. Like that. I mean, we, we have the ability to change it around, and this can expand as much as you want it to, which is great. So if you happen to use a lot of these applications that may have these cool features, great. You can pin them there. If you don't want them, I'm sure you could even remove all of them as well and have just your start menu. In fact, let's go do that. Can I unpin this? Yes. Let's see if I can unpin all of these and just create, you know, the classic start, which everybody is used to. Everybody wants that. Everybody has been begging for that as our classic start menu. If you, if you wanted to really go back to the basics, can you do it? Of course you can. Look at that. 
we're back to the basic start menu of things. It's a little bit changed around. We now have our profile information here at the top, so you can see who's logged in, and you have here where you can sleep, shut down, or restart, which is great. Of course, we can browse through all of our apps that are installed here. We can click on them. We can, from here, pin them to the start, so we can have it pinned over here if we want it to, which is great because that's what we want. We want the ability to change it around, and that's something that Windows 8 never really did for us. And now we can. So going back here, we can also start searching as well. Um, we can, you know, if we start searching for calculator, it'll come up with the calculator on the computer itself. It'll come up with some results in the app store. It'll come out with some uh, search suggestions as well. And that actually may make me move down here to this little icon here, this little search icon. This uses uh, the Bing search engine, and you can easily search from things right from your desktop. So maybe if you need to look up something really quickly while you're doing some work, you can just go down there, do some searching, call it done. Now here's something uh, called task view. Let me uh, open up some applications here, and I'll show you what task view is. All right, it's right here in the bottom corner here. It's called task view, where you get a general overview of OS 10s, no, sorry, not OS 10s, I'm sorry, Windows 10 settings. And you can see here that we can uh, look at, you know, we can look at Internet Explorer here, we can bring that to the front, or if we go back to task view, if we wanna bring the store to the front, we can bring it to the front, but we also have the ability to add a desktop. Yes, that's right, you can have a completely new desktop, so you can have work on one tab, uh, one window, and uh, stuff on another one. So. That's kind of cool. It seems like a little bit of a work in progress right now. You can add multiple desktops here to have a clean living. And it seems a little bit bugged right now, uh, but it's generally what it's supposed to be. So we can, there we go. So you can just go back to having just one desktop if you want to. The feature is there if you want to use it. It's not there if you don't want to use it. Speaking of, let's take a look at the App Store. It's something that we have seen within Windows 8. It's nothing new. What I think needs to be improved here, what I would like to see improved here, is the fake applications. A lot of fake applications have made their way into the store and generally don't really help. So you see here we have Client for YouTube, Tube Free Free. These are unofficial applications, but they make it look like they're official applications. Look, this you guys is using the YouTube icon. This guy has the YouTube play button. It's, it's a hassle to deal with all of these applications that uh, will maybe be fake will uh, try to sell you an application that uh, is something that you don't need so that's where I would like to see Windows 10 be brought into uh, better I, I would want to see this improved before Windows 10 is finally released because once again it's just a technical preview but other than that though those are the biggest and things that I really wanted to comment on for Windows 10. Everything else looks to be just getting a slight design update with some new icons. Uh, the window menus uh, are a little uh, interesting. As you can see here, if you look up at the uh, exit out button, you can see that they don't have an application frame now. It's just a, a fluid into the background. And I'm not so sure I like that because I feel like there needs to be a padding here. I feel like it's unfinished. Maybe that's something I just need to get used to, and it probably is. And I'm gonna say this now before we close out, that no one operating system is best. Nothing is the best out there. Everything has their own uniquenesses to them, which make them a good OS. I've used Windows 7 because I like having the desktop, I like how it performs with my hardware, and it just works, and it works for me in a desktop situation. I have a Macintosh laptop because Mac happens to have one of the best laptops out there, in my opinion. And of course, that's once again, my opinion, my preferences, that's me. Now, I try to generalize this out for a lot of people, but you need to realize that there is not one thing that is best for everyone. So I'm gonna leave that with you, that there's not one thing best for everyone. So go ahead, download this. You can get it for free from Microsoft's website to check out. 
see if you like it, um, see if maybe you want to upgrade to it, and let us know in that comment section down below. Do you like Windows 10? Do you think it worked for you? If you were on Windows 7 because you didn't like Windows 8, is Windows 10 now going to bring you to upgrading? Answer those questions for us in the comment section down below. We'd love to hear you guys' feedback. My name is Creighton Miller once again. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time.